Well, hello, my lovelies. It's Murky Meg here. It's Thursday, the 17th of November. I bring you a rather strange story that seems to have popped up in the media with regards to Meghan and Tyler Perry. Now, remember Tyler Perry was the one that put them up in that swanky California mansion that they stayed so long and even erected security fences that they said needed to be put up because people were spying on them. Remember that one? That huge mansion that they didn't have to pay for because they are who they are. Anyway, weird story pipes up. He's shared apparently a sweet story about how Meghan visited UK stores for infant formula amid US shortage after he called to say his employees couldn't find any for their child. Now, apparently he called Meghan after one of his employees asked him for help amid the shortage, which apparently saw shelves from state to state empty of baby formula. Now, he told this sweet story in front of the entire Baby to Baby Gala, which raises funds for children living in poverty. And he said how he recalled that he told his staff member that the Duchess of Sussex, who was in London at the time for the Platinum Jubilee, was going to stores on their behalf. If you believe that, I've got a bridge to sell you. Are you seriously suggesting, Mr. Perry, that Meghan Markle went from store to store in the UK without a single person seeing her and able to do so without mega security because remember Harry is taking the British government to court over the fact that he's not allowed to buy Met Police officers that have guns and that she went and just popped down to Morrison's for a bit of baby formula. Sorry, no, she wouldn't go to Morrison's. It would be Waitrose. No, it wouldn't be Waitrose. She's too posh for Waitrose. And even though Waitrose in this country is as posh as they come. In fact, there's a very well-known saying that, I think it was Michael McIntyre, the comedian, that people are so posh at Waitrose, they don't get their pound back from the trolley. Or I suppose cart. We call it a trolley, shopping trolley. Because, hey, they don't need it. And they just simply push the trolley back and not return the pound. I'm not buying it one bit that she went traipsing around UK shops without a single soul seeing her, without the level of security that they demand, and the fact that she says that the UK is unsafe, and that is why Harry is taking the UK government to court. I'm not buying it. Now, she may well have sent a lackey to do this, but that's not what Tyler Perry is implying. He's implying Megan did it herself. Do we believe that, ladies and gentlemen? No. How on earth could she have walked the streets of London, London being the capital of the UK, the busiest city, in one of the busiest cities in the world, basically, without being seen, papped, photographed, tweeted, a member of the public, oh look, there's Meghan Markle, snap, put it all over socials. No, a lackey did it, if it ever happened. I'm not believing it happened at all. How on earth did she then get the baby formula back? Isn't that importing foods, subject to tax? I, I, it's weird, isn't it? It's a really weird, bizarre story. Maybe Tyler Perry needs a fact checker like Megan. Oh, I'm sorry, no, she's fired the fact checker. Fact checker is no longer working at Archetypes. Sorry, I just get so sick and tired of people trying to paint her as the humanitarian that will go out of her way to do something. We know that that's not true. This is the woman that couldn't hold on to her staff, that belittled them so much that they left crying, that ignored them when they said that they were leaving and went in a hissy fit. Uh, not buying it. Not buying it one bit. But Tyler Perry actually said that she personally searched in stores to assist families in need during the shortage. Cough, cough, bullshit, cough, cough. Sorry for swearing, it doesn't happen very often, but I'm really incensed by this story that's been pushed you really expecting me to believe that she wandered from store to store to find this baby formula? Nah, not buying it. What I am buying is that she said she did it herself, but she didn't. She sent a lackey to do it. One of her servants. One of her assistants. Those poor lost souls that we all must pray for. Mind you, they know who they're working for, so it's their loss, really. But this story has a familiar ring to it, because in June... The now Princess of Wales, then Duchess of Cambridge, visited Little Village 
baby bank charity and she visited there and joined staff volunteers and supporters of the charities in brent hub to help pick clothes and equipment for a family who are also present now this is a charity that provides pre-loved clothes toys and equipment for babies and children up to the age of five she's also heavily involved in the charity baby basics Methinks Megan is trying to cosplay the Princess of Wales. Now, for those of you who can remember, the Platinum Jubilee took place over the weekend of Thursday the 2nd to Sunday the 5th of June. And this is exactly when Tyler Perry said Megan was in town looking for baby formula in London during the Platinum Jubilee, where everybody flocked to London, where there were thousands on the streets. And you are really telling me that she went looking herself, personally, as Tyler Perry said, personally, to find baby formula and then bring it back with her, presumably on her private jet, not her private jet, but a private jet, to hand it over to Tyler Perry. (laughs) Oh my, so funny, isn't it? Oh, and let's not forget that during that weekend, it was Lilibet's birthday too, so she must have been a very busy mum. All this is, is a plea for her to get a ticket to next year's Baby 2 Baby Gala. I'm buying it. That's what I'm buying. I'm not buying this BS story. I really am not. She did not go shopping in London over the Platinum Jubilee weekend. Absolutely not. <laughs> She didn't get a ticket to the Baby 2 Baby Gala and so Tyler Perry is doing her a solid favour and trying to crowbar that little nugget of truth, (coughs) not true, to try and uh, wangle her ticket for next year. But this has all been done by the Princess of Wales. She's been heavily involved in baby charities for many years. It's a well-known fact. My view on anything Meghan and Harry is photos or it didn't happen. We need photo proof or it didn't happen at all. And then, even then, with photo proof, you can't always believe it because, oh, always, always, always manipulative. Always spinning the truth. Always fabricated lies. Always a push for PR. And it's getting a little bit tired. But this is a massive, desperate plea to try and boost someone's ego and popularity. I'd also like to point out that at particular time there was a UK shortage of Formula 2. So in buying that formula, whether she bought it or whether a lackey bought it, you took away from a mother in the UK that could have bought that formula. I know I'm splitting hairs there but hey, (laughs) I'm lost for words to be perfectly honest. The propaganda to push a humanitarian aspect of Meghan Markle is getting ridiculous beyond proportions. It really, really is. It's relentless. Simply put, if it happened, she didn't do it. She sent somebody to do it and told Tyler Perry that she did. And the fact that he can't see that, and if he really, truly believes that Meghan Markle went shopping on the Platinum Jubilee weekend when it was her daughter's birthday to find baby formula in UK shops, I think that He really does need his head screwing on. In a world where social media is rife, in a world where one sighting of them, people will notice and take a picture and sell it to the papers or put it on TikTok or on Instagram, there would have been proof if she went to the stores. I'm sorry, but (laughs) the whole of London was mass hysteria during the Platinum Jubilee. (laughs) I can't... (laughs) the tall tales people tell is this trying to drum up support in so people vote her in the hello magazine kind list because she supposedly went to buy baby formula when we know that that's not true it's just it's just a load of lies did the netflix crew go with her by any chance If this happened, and by no means do I believe it happened, it kind of disproves Harry's argument that they need special security while in the UK. (laughs) It's laughable, really, isn't it? And let's not forget that there's something to do with the FDA in baby formula, um, UK, US. (laughs) Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. So I would love to know your thoughts on this hilarious little ditty that's going around social media and the news. Did she or did she not receive a phone call from Tyler Perry saying that one of his assistants couldn't get baby formula? So she, the hero, went shop to shop 
during the Platinum Jubilee trying to find baby formula and then take it back with her to America? Or do you think it's just all fabricated PR lies to boost her humanitarian status and get a ticket to next year's Baby 2 Baby Gala? As always, I'd love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me. It really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.